This guy. This guy's what I want. But out. What could it be? Well, it is Botex Rep Side Skirts. Seems legit. About the same height. So long story short about these side skirts, these are eBay Votex replica. They fit absolutely amazing. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of massaging, but now that we know these fit on here and they fit on so snug, I'm gonna go ahead and get my house siding vinyl, place it under the car, kind of give it a look and say, hey, how much do I want that to stick out? And if you ask me, I don't want it to stick out that much. The material is that I'm even using is house siding. Yes, you heard me right, house vinyl siding. This stuff is absolutely amazing and it's great for what we need. Now that I've got underneath the car, you can really see where my idea is going. I've built these sides footage before for the purple part in the past and I did not really know what I was doing and I'm happy that I didn't know what I was doing because now I get to do V2. So getting an overlook of the car, you can already see that this idea is so rad because you can get that like send out into the PVC, you can step on it, do whatever you want and it won't break. I really like this jut out idea. This is just so fire. It's even got the little teardrop step down for extra, you know, stance boy shenanigans. Stance boy shenanigans. But yeah, this is sick. So let's go ahead and chop these ends up and let's get it to length with the side skirt. excitement right now Yay! bro yes I have to have it stick out that far that is fire okay so now that I know this fits I have to remove this section right here this part's gonna be mounting to the actual side skirt this is gonna drop down and extend all the way out from outside the car and then this is gonna add a whole nother almost an inch of lowering So now all I'm gonna do for the other side is I'm gonna replicate this piece with that piece. Right on cue. I, I get a lot of parts. Two side skirts, two splitters, and literally the best paint you could buy. Obviously, Krylon isn't the best paint you could buy, but it's my favorite. And it's my favorite because it's literally got primer built in, it's for plastic, and I paint all my trim pieces with it, and it never flakes. I had these splitters heating up in the house all day long. These were also in the house, so the plastic and the fiberglass are both warm, along with the paint. The surface of these side skirts is extremely rough, like crazy bumpy and these splitters are extremely smooth so even though i don't need to paint prep these side skirts i'm not going to prep these splitters and i don't need to because this stuff is going to stick like crazy so i got the side skirts laid out on some tires and then over here i've got the side splitters and i don't really care to get all this painted but i do want to get these sides painted so i have them hanging over each edge the whole can of krylon should cover both of these without an issue but if not we'll just run out and get some more This right here is why I didn't need to go ahead and paint prep any of this stuff. I laid down that nice, hard, you hear that? It makes it super grippy. I put down a dusting on here. You literally see exactly what this material looked like prior to, just with a little bit of added black, and it kind of looks like a sandy material. The coverage area is so broad that when the little speckles land on that material, as it leaves almost a grip tape type material on the base of the plastic. So whatever you lay down after that, the adhesion rate will triple. Warm up your parts, lay a fine mist, let it dry for 15 minutes, and lay that paint. That's my model, let's go.
literally just my luck. Got these done. Looks really good. I'm hyped on that. Got this one done. And then I just could not get that part done. So... Well, everything's dry. So in New Jersey right now, it's 65 degrees, which is actually a really good temperature to be painting stuff. I left it in the garage overnight, went to go pick it up this morning, and it was a little bit tacky, let it dry the rest of the day. And I figured, you know what, for safety, I'm just gonna bake the paint real quick with a good old torch. For safety, whenever I have sticky paint, I just use a torch and um, now the paint's dry. Very soon we're gonna be going ahead and wrapping this car, so it doesn't really matter what the side skirts look like right now. The black on the blue is great for now as the colors, they blend really well. Once we go ahead and wrap it, we're gonna go ahead and sand down that black anyway, so I'm happy with it for now. Let's go ahead and attach these splitters to these side skirts. So I've got the side skirt all laid out and this is actually the bottom side of the side skirt where the splitter is gonna be attaching. I want this corner piece to be level with this whole siding right here where this bend starts to flatten out. Right here, there's about two inches. Right here, there's about an inch, but that's not gonna be really an issue securing this down. But we're gonna be having a lot of excess hang off. This is gonna be underneath the car. So once we go ahead and attach all this stuff, then I'll go ahead and I'll cut all this off. The goal here is to get the splitter sitting flush on both ends obviously but being properly secured and i'd say the best thing to secure these two together is zip ties now i'm going to be marrying the side skirt to the side splitter with the infamous drift stitch zip ties quarter inch drill bit and my drill i'm the only one here wish i had friends i do have friends but they don't live close i miss you guys i love you guys but the vice is my friend today and so is his microfiber I'm gonna hold this down nice and tight and i can really go to town now i want to match that corner up and this corner up and I'm going to drill two pilot holes, one on each end to keep this whole structure level so that I can go across the entire plane and make sure that I get these drift stitches every about six inches for durability and structure. And before I drill these holes, I have to show you guys why I love these siding pieces so much. You see how it just follows that angle and just drops right down? It's so good. So I'm just going to drill a hole right here, just spider web it right back and do the same on the other side so then I can go across the entire piece without having to worry about this whole piece lining up. lined up all the way down and i love this because i got one down there and one down there and now i can just go ham making a bunch of x's with these and just making this structure tight just how i like it all right now i've got one added to the middle we got the center all pulled in now i can see how far i want to go in for the drift stitch i can literally drill wherever i want as long as it's within these boundaries i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to drill four holes one two three four i can start doing an x brace with the zip tie so i can have a zip tie go here to this hole to this hole and they'll cross each other up and they'll make a drift stitch. Now you see this X formation? It's about to get real tight. Now obviously the structure of this is way stronger than this. We're this, we're this. So? I'm really happy with the way this came out. I got four drift stitches, three on this side, one on this side. I've got a triple here and three singles. And the reason I have two, three singles is because if, if I was to drill four holes in this really thin spot, I'd potentially crack this. Now there's a lot of potentialies in there, but at the end of the day, fiberglass cracks like crazy. It's not structural. And if it cracks in any spots, it becomes the weakest of weak links. I'm happy with those three singles and those four drift stitches. And uh, this thing's gonna be awesome. This is what it looks like from the bottom. Such a monstrosity, but the structure is all there. It's straight all the way down. And uh, now, let's test fit it. Oh my, I don't even wanna look. I don't even wanna look. Bro! No way! No way, dude! 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 And look at the structure. This thing is so sick. Oh my. Bruh. Bruh. But the reason I have this jutting out so far is because the fitment that we're gonna be running is gonna be absolutely nutty. Like, insanity um 
mind blowing. Camera on the purple cart was so sick. It was sitting out so far, but this whole setup I've got planned here in the near future and static. Are you seeing this? Zip ties are cut. One side skirt is finished. And number two is also finished. This is actually the side skirt for this side. These side skirts are designed to come from being narrow to bowing out. So when I tried to put it on the other side, on this side, I actually had the bowing out part in the front, which made it extremely hard to put on. And I did that from the get go. So now I know that that one is for the passenger side. And this one is for the driver's side. The shelf, the curve, straight line all the way down to the end here where it meets up with the fender and the rocker beautifully nice and flush i am so stoked on this got a lot of zip ties to clean up but man this is sick the passenger side is on oh, i'm so happy right now dude come on yup Yup, yup. What's crazy about all this is I'm not even as excited as I am to attach it. And what do I mean by attaching it? How else would you apply side skirts, side splitters to a vehicle? Self tappers, zip ties. I got a better idea. I know what you're thinking. Alex, 3M, that's what everyone would use, but better than that. Let's ponder with an idea real quick. You've reached an area where your side splitters, your side skirts, they cannot go. You need to remove this in a hurry. So I grabbed some Dymag Strong Neodymium magnets. Of course I got that 12 pack. And if you don't know what these are, you're about to. I got this idea from Jimmy Oaks. I don't know who Jimmy Oaks got this from, but Jimmy Oaks, thank you for the idea, my guy. I'm stoked on it. These magnets are a rare earth metal that hold up to 30 pounds per magnet. So I'm gonna be laying a couple of these magnets out. They're three M on one side, you stick a magnet to the car and you can literally remove the side skirt from the vehicle whenever you want with strength. That's hard to find. Usually you have to use three M tape and you can't get it apart. And then you have to use a heat gun and you can never get your side splitters off. But here we're about to do some wizardry. So this kick comes with 12 magnets and 12 strips of three M tape. And this is like high grade three M. The highest of the high, not the lowest of the low. And these are linked down below in the description. And the percentage of me messing this up is extremely high. So I wanna be the test dummy while you guys aren't. On the end and another one on the end, so two total. I'm thinking about possibly putting three and along the edge of that side splitter side skirt combo, there's actually a really flat surface that is gonna work really well. And my idea here is simple. On the Mark V's here, we have clean paint. So I'm planning on just putting that thin strip right here and it's literally the perfect size. So oh, wow, wow, oh, wow. No way, bro. What? I do want to mention that this is a test trial for me personally. So the location of where I'm gonna be putting these might not be the best spot. So I will be letting you guys know further into the video, but I either want to put it here or down here. And I don't really know. So I'm gonna start off with the top and I'm gonna bite the bullet. These magnets are like 15 bucks. And if it doesn't work, I got to get more, but that's no big deal. There's 12 here. I'm only using two on each side. So realistically, I've got a couple tries. So, degreaser. Now I went ahead and degreased the magnets as well. So I gotta be really careful about how I touch them. Degreasing is a very crucial step. So if you're gonna be getting involved with this, I heavily suggest at the very least you take isopropyl or rubbing alcohol and you rub everything down, evaporates within seconds. Go ahead and rip a brand new tab off, remove one side of the adhesive, touch the magnets from the side cause that's the last thing I wanna touch. This is some crazy 3M. So you really don't want to mess this up. 12 pieces, I'm only using four, so I got that security. Alrighty. And just to show you guys how strong these magnets really are, this is magneting through my hands. This is gonna be holding the side skirt on. That's crazy. Magnet number one, magnet number two, number three. Aiming four above the splash guard, but if we hit the splash guard itself, it's no big deal. These magnets are so powerful. No matter where I put them, they're gonna stick. The only concern is, will they be visible? Oh, baby. So amped up right now. Let's go. No way. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this through the lens and I am so stoked. 
cannot see the magnets. You can see the head of the magnet there and the head of the magnet there. You cannot see the front one though. That's kind of odd. Oh, it all makes sense because the rocker actually right here is bent in. So the side skirt sits a little bit off the body. But man, overall, if I was to paint the head of that, you would never be able to tell. I also painted the inside of the side skirt so the, none of the white is exposed. But that looks so fire. All right, just finished up actually the passenger side. I, I should have filmed it, but I didn't because I was so excited to put this side on. So flush to the body. I wish the rocker on the other side was a-okay. I placed these magnets a little bit lower, but overall, so far. I wish I filmed this side. I want to take it off to show you guys, but I really shouldn't because the 3M tape, I don't want it to like, I want it to set up and bond right, if that makes any sense. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about, but I feel like it's kind of like glue. You got to let it set. This is too great. Yup. Mm -hmm. I'm in love. And just like that, these side skirts are on. They look amazing. They attach really well. Um, Neodymium magnets, incredibly strong. Yeah, you can just see from overall just looking behind me. These look absolutely amazing. The stoke is high. It's 9 a.m. I wanted to get these on in the morning. I wanted to be able to look at this car all day and I couldn't be more happy. It looks so good. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. If you guys are actually going to make these side splitters at home, I really want to see it. So drop your Instagram down below and I'll periodically be checking your Instagrams to see if you guys made them or just tag me in a post. I always check my mentions in Instagram. So if you guys make these side splitters, if you guys use the magnets to hold on your side splitters, let me know. It'd be sick to check it out. You obviously don't need to attach them with magnets. You could just use normal 3M double-sided tape, foam tape. That stuff's honestly the greatest. Better the magnets if you're going to be daily driving the car. If you're going to be abusing your car, hitting bumps, all that stuff. You don't want to lose your side splitters. You don't want to lose your side skirts. And, uh, the magnets, they're just a little bit weaker at the end of the day. You can't trust them as if they were completely stuck on there the whole way down with 3M tape. And uh, remember, your build is unique to you. Don't even put you down. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Gosh, this thing looks so good. I've been so stoked on like life and creating these videos for you guys and just everything overall. And it's just so good. The amount of support you guys have been giving me on the channel and everything. It's been unreal. And I've been truly humbled and just reading some of your DMs and people tell me that like my content has saved their lives and it's, it's amazing. I really love you guys.